share from within myself, I share from my own personal experiences, and I pray that someone here is blessed by my sharing. And before I start, I definitely want to thank the people that came out to share with me. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting my sorority. Thank you so um, how to get that in there. I woke up one morning and I discovered I couldn't pray. My eyes overflowing with tears and my head pulsating with pain. My heart so heavy, I could hardly make my body move. My thoughts so unstable, even I was afraid of what I might do. I looked up toward heaven and, to be honest, I rolled my eyes. See, I'm not too happy with you right now, Lord, but since you already know, I won't hide. Why do you think I can take all this? How much more do you think I can bear? How many more tears can you watch me shed? How many more losses do you think fair? Now, clearly you heard me say I was unstable to speak to my God with such disrespect, but my granny always said, just tell him how you feel, of course. She failed to mention that he put me in check. You don't think I know what you're going through, he said. You don't think I know and feel your pain? I know every molecule that makes up your existence. And not one tear that you've shed has been in vain. When that job you thanked and praised me for was not the blessing it initially seemed. When there wasn't enough to feed your children and the state denied your request for EBT. When the money ran out but the bills kept running and the note on the door said, you've seen me a place to stay. Instead of ranting and raving, kicking and screaming, that, my child, is when you pray. When your sister had the twins and you were scared the girl baby wouldn't last. When you found out that your brand new husband had conveniently hidden his past. When the son you loved and accepted as your own changed overnight and became a monster when all of the lies and all of the betrayal caused both of your babies to suffer. When a cancerous tumor threatened the life of your grandmother and you couldn't be there to see her face, instead of wasting your time feeling guilty, that, mm -hmm, that's when you pray. When after searching for months and the only job you could find barely covers the cost of your rent and when it finally clears and hits your account, more money than was in your check is already spent. When you walk up and unlock your door with a smile, ever so grateful to have a place to call home, only to find out that you've been violated, they broke in, took your stuff, oh, and left your window open. When your 10-year-old daughter looks you in your eyes with tears falling from her beautiful brown eyes because her daddy won't come. He won't even call and she just doesn't understand why. And you've seen that more funerals in two months than you have almost in a whole year. And your grandmother, who's always been the strongest woman you know, suddenly and frequently burst into tears. And oh, and just last month when your cousin came to visit and you were so happy to see her at last with the devil, he couldn't stand to see you smiling because when you got home, they had turned off your gas. When just one week ago, Thursday, they didn't know if you'd make it through it because your son said, Mommy, I'm trying to wash my hands, but there's no water coming 
out of the faucet. When you're so angry and you're so bitter, harboring all these emotions, you just can't sort. Because although technically you're a newlywed, you're already on your way to divorce court. When you've done all you can and you're trying so hard to stand, but your knees can no longer support your weight. I know it seems bad, like all is lost, but now more than ever, you need to pray. And so, with yet more tears running down, I, I looked at him and I said that day, Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. I say, oh, oh, Lord, I need you to help me, oh, help me on my journey. 